you might have observed one thing all the vowels all the consonants we have learned till now are starting from upward to downward b p and horizontal strokes are starting from left to right a g and slanting strokes from top to bottom j j t and vertical strokes from top to bottom d so if you are going to place this pro matlab vowels like this one is for a strong dark dot heavy dot in the second place this if this is p then it is pe p a y pe this is b so placing it here be b a y be and then placing before it k ek and placing after the g o go the same way to de j like that and this is j and for there is no such word with a j so this is pe matra dash see pe b ek here the vowel follows suppose how if it precedes p a p a p e a p a p p ek so in the same way ek second place a this one this one go and j and to and de hope you have followed what i explained so if you go through the exercise number 3 you need to learn what are the strokes that were given there in four rows they are i am studying you try to write it down after seeing the test book and after seeing the exercise they are pay paid ha ah. now only single strokes i have explained but while joining two strokes pay p d paid this has to end here actually pay d paid okay the same way p j page p lightly and j poch okay and in the same way j k joke b g beg name b d bed yeah you can say board in the same way b t bait bait and uh, k and j cage okay and in the same manner j 
जी टी गेट हियर आई एम नॉट गेटिंग द एग्जैक्ट स्ट्रोक बिकॉज पेंसिल इज नॉट सो कन्वीनियंट फॉर मी दिस स्केच पेंसिल पेन वट एवर इट मे बी सो बो T and D, toad and B and T, boat, like that. In the exercise number three, many such words are given. You have to practice them by writing each single word, first word. You write word first, pay. then practice at least 10 lines and thereafter daily three times till you are exactly matlab very convenient and very confident hone tak you have to practice them like p with vowel p p p sorry p p p p the stroke has to end on the line because you are placing it in the vowel is being placed at place number 2 that is middle of the listening in the same way p like t a p e t p tape 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 at least 10 lines each word you have to practice and thereafter you need to practice at least one line each day till you are confident that i have learned this word and you should be able to write it at any time even during the middle of your sleep okay next G A T E gate G T gate sorry this is dot only G T gate this is a light one T is light U G T gate next G T goat G T goat G T goat. It is very straight line. It's not that I am writing. I mean, very in a slight slanting manner. That does not mean it is right. So, just like straight line, straight line. It is not coming exactly. So you need to practice it. In the same way, Joe. Joe. okay and uh, cape c a p e cape c p matlab k p cape k p cape okay like that so many words are there now i will tell you just write down the letter matlab words conveniently in a long hand and thereafter you put them in the exercise notebook and practice the first row in the first row that is in exercise number 3 first row pay p a y pay p a i d paid second one third one page ape bay babe bait bake eight eight theek okay? hai In the second row, tape, take, aid, a i d aid, day, day, date, and day do. What is the meaning of day do? Lower part of the wall or a structure. It is a, an architecture ka subject ka word hai. 
सो जेक जैक एंड जिल ऐसा जेक एक वर्ड जैसा है या सम मीनिंग शुड बी देयर यू हैव टू गो थ्रू द डिक्शनरी टू फाइंड आउट एग्जैक्टली मीनिंग एज एंड एक के ए बाई के थर्ड रॉन्ग केक केप केज गे जी ए वाई गे गेप जी ए पी गेट जी ए टी एंड इन द फोर्थ लाइन कोच बो बोट वोट वोट जो खाता है ना वोट्स क्या वोट टो टोड डोट एंटी डोट में डोट एंड जोक लास्ट वन इज जोक वाइल लर्निंग द वर्ड्स you have to keep in mind the first down strokes must respect must rest on the line like j k so this is the line this is k joke so this down stroke down stroke first down stroke is resting on the line joke okay like that and uh, this is called position writing so once you are clear then i will proceed to the next uh, thing that is in short hand in short hand when a sentence is complete small cross is placed after the sentence i am going to school stop it has no meaning in short hand but except this pause matlab right? long pause that is full stop okay and for paragraph you can say like this before the starting of paragraph or you can say either way after the completion of the paragraph suppose here if the para ends at i am going to school if the paragraph ends here and the sentence also ends here this is placed here and thereafter it is placed like this okay next and whenever a name is written in short hand whenever a name is written small two dashes before the like jake jack jack and jill went up the hill word sikha tha na name of a person jack so before that you can place two small strokes so that you, you can easily decipher that it is a name okay and after this the same matlab exercise whitman has mentioned
ಬಟ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಅಕರ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಬ್ರಿವಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಬಲ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ಲಾಗ್ಸ್ so it is called gram lags so i will tell you what are gram lags in the first chapter just before exercise number 4 they have mentioned some gram lags they are if a stroke is written above the line this is representing a yan if the same stroke is if the same dot is written on the line it has it will represent d okay and in the same way if a dark slanting dash is placed above the line it represents all okay and if the same dark or heavy dash is placed on the line it represents two r 2 t w o 2 r t o o 2 in the same way if light dash slanting dash is placed above the line it represents half and the same is if it is placed on small slanting dash is placed the light dot dash it represents t o 2 okay and uh, if the light sorry if the dark dash is straight dash is placed above the line it represents o r o well expression and that's if the same small matlab straight vertical dash small dash is written on the line it represents he okay if the same if the light vertical dash small dash is placed above the line it represents on if it is written on the line it represents but so small dot above the line represents a or n and the same dot on the line represents d and another dark matlab heavy slanting dash represents all and the same slanting dash on the line represents 2 or two in the same way light light slanting light dash is written above the line it represents of if it is written on the line it represents two and in the same way if heavy uh, straight dash the vertical dash is written above the line it represents o or o if it is written on the line heavy vertical dash small dash dash nahi is vertical stroke it represents he and if it is a light one it represents on and written on the above line matlab above the line it represents on and if it is written on the line it represents but so you have to keep a separate notebook for practicing all the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 gram lags by writing 
the word a or yan so you need to practice a yan 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 above the line a yan a yan this is like that in the same way the d d d d d d d d d okay in the same way of i am telling one or two how to practice of 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 so what should be the length of this slanting or vertical dash or strokes used to be used as ground loss is if we were writing one centimeter stroke it should be one third maximum one third if it is less than that also that will be okay if the stroke is one centimeter then it should be one third one third of a centimeter one third of a centimeter whether it is dark or light you have to observe the darkness that is the heaviness of a stroke or a light stroke you have to observe the differentiation otherwise it will cause great confusion while practicing okay for this day this is okay and thereafter you have to practice exercise 4 also based on the vowels already based on the vowels already explained the two long vowels in the second place i hope you find this uh, lesson useful and hope you will practice there is no other way just to remember if you are going to remember things it will cause great harm to you you have to practice otherwise you cannot succeed in learning the short hand exercise 4 and 5 you have to write each word at least five lines each word at least five lines in the same fashion i have explain to you okay and we will meet again in the next lesson that is lesson number 2 after some time good day important note don't try to remember the strokes without practicing practice practice and practice there is no other way to learn and master stenography